Hello. I was just kind of subconsciously thinking as I'm going through my day, all the little things that I do randomly and just because it's who I am, just the little random things that I do that you may not know about me. Now I have done a 25 random things video in the past, a long time ago, it was really kind of dumb. This one is going to be just kind of the OCD that I have that is just like, everyone has it, just little things that they do, but this is, this is going to be mine. So the first thing that I thought of was, do you remember in National Treasure when Nicolas Cage makes that special fingerprint stuff that he puts on the coin to give to that one woman so he can find out the password to enter the declaration room? I'm afraid that's going to happen whenever I put in a code somewhere. I'm not afraid it's going to happen on my computer because I touch all the buttons, but if there's like a keypad somewhere that I need to enter a code, I'll touch all the buttons just in case someone comes by with magic powder to get inside. So I just like kind of touch all the buttons. The second thing is I own a lot of shoes. Um, I have quite a few, they're all over here in the corner, but I'm not gonna show you them, but my shoes have to match my shirt usually, so I have red ones. I mean, most of my closet is red and blue. So I have red ones, I have black ones, I have blue ones. I mean, right now I'm wearing a black shirt and I have my black ah, DCs on, see? I like to match, so I'm fashionable yet simple. Another one that is really, it's fun for me to do, and I'm sure some people out there do it too, is I have to alphabetize things. So I have all my CDs over here. All my movies are alphabetized. All my CDs are alphabetized, and when there's a series, I have to put the one, the very first one, to the last one. Except for when it comes to the James Bond ones, I don't do 007, I do the name of the movie. So it's like, Tomorrow Never Dies goes with the T's, and I Die Another Day goes with the T's. That's just another one of my OCDs. Another one of my favorite things, which I'm sure a lot of you do, is I am an iTunes Nazi. Whenever I get a new song, if I borrow it, I have to make sure it has album art, I have to make sure the album's right, I have to make sure the artist is spelled correctly. It pisses me off more than anything when I go through my friend's uh, iPods. All, you go through the L's, there's like 300 Lil's. Like Lil Wayne, Lil Jon, it's all because they all have featuring artists, so they're all listed as another track when they're all the same artists just featuring someone else. I make sure I have everything so no artist is repeated twice. If the song is featuring someone else that goes on the song title, not the artist. Like I said, I'm an iTunes Nazi. It has to be perfect. To go along with that, whenever I get a new iPod, I do not take it out of the case it came in until I get a protective case for it. My iPods are usually immaculate, yet somehow they still kind of get crap all over them. I don't know how that happens and they get scratched, but it's before I take it out of the package it came in, it has to go in a protective case, like immediately. Whenever I see ding-dongs or ho-hos in a grocery store, I kind of giggle and just thinking about it makes me smile. Now this next one is almost an ailment, it could even be considered an illness, it should be, but whenever I sleep, it has to be 100% dark silent, no noise, even a ticking clock, I will not be able to sleep. I really envy those people who can fall asleep on the couch with the TV on, people around them. They must get so much sleep because last year in college was terrible because my roommate would stay up until like 3 o'clock in the morning when he played video, playing video games and you have the sound totally off, but I could close my eyes and see the flashing of the TV on like the wall and it would still keep me awake and it sucks. I have never ever been able to fall asleep with the TV on with lights on. But here's the thing, if I can't go to sleep, I listen to music, but I cannot fall asleep while listening to the music. I have to listen to it, sort of get tired, I take it out, then I fall asleep. But I don't listen to relaxing, soothing music, it's usually whatever is on, so like, it's Breaking Benjamin, or like ACDC, or some hard rock thing, but it's not the sound, I don't need soothing music, I just need music. So the rhythm, beats, song, if I know the song, I get sleepy, so it's kind of awkward in that sense. That's actually all I can think of. Um, at the, I know I have a lot of others. I'm not that clean, which sucks. If you guys have any weird OCDs or if you can relate to mine, let me know in the comments or video response for all 12 of you that watch me. Anyway, that's it for right now. Uh, no song of the day today because today wasn't really a show, which is more like an informative thing for me. So song of the day on Wednesday, back with 4 Entertainment. Uh, my name is Eric Olson. I'll see you guys later. Bye.